Hey guys, it's Kathy Fang. December 2016, I took an awesome trip to Austria and Prague. While I was out there, I wanted to capture some of the neat things that I ate and drank along the way. So come follow me on my eating adventure in Europe. So we are all packed and ready to go. We are off to Austria and Prague. All our suitcase. We left the United Lounge because it's the pile of dump in there. We decided it's much better to be out here. Tell them about the guy that spilled. <laughs> There's some guy who drank something and then like spat on the wall <laughs> and was like, oh, and then walked off. The food selection is awful. Asian airport lounges beat all the American airport lounges. It's, it's really like sad. really handy because then I don't have to reach out to get the things that I need on these really awesome pillows, which is cool. Let's wake up in Austria! We also went to have dinner at St. Peter Stephen Killer or something of that sort. But this is one of the oldest restaurants in the world. Actually, it's listed in the top 10 of oldest restaurants. I believe it's over 300 years old. You have to put salt and pepper in the It's like a flight donut with sauerkraut on top. It's like really nice and airy. Maybe you see the right there. Is it? Thumbs up. Okay. It's December 24th. We woke up at 6 a.m. Totally haven't adjusted to the jet lag and the time difference. It apparently gets bright very late. The sun is supposed to rise around 8 a.m. Right now it is pitch dark and we can't sleep anymore. I decided why not vlog about it. Go to breakfast after this. We have fruits, vegetables, potatoes, different dips, potatoes, 
potatoes and with potatoes. sour creams. Dip. It's, it's very good. And mixed pickles. And that's it. Enjoy it. You know what's good? Is the barbecue? Is this barbecue sauce? And I'm so stuffed, but we're getting desserts. You done? <laughs> I dropped and it hit my arm. I thought it went down here. We're on video. Look at this. baklavas but this is very different I've never seen baklava like this look at that with pastaccio in the middle pistachio. and the outside looks really different what is this one this is with um, that datum oh dates this one is with coconut looks like a mochi okay. Largest. Good to go. Thank you. Thank you, my All right, so we walked by this kebab place like twice, actually three times, and I kept saying I need to try it because this thing is like huge. Look at this, it's like the size of my head. Look at that. Look at how big this thing is. Okay, now let's see you try to eat that. The lamb is really good, really flavorful. I haven't even gotten to the lettuce part, but the bread is nice and toasty, and they put chili powder on it, which is awesome. sugar, cinnamon, and almonds. And this bread, I think is kind of like a donut. They wrap it around this stick, and then they keep rolling it around, and there's coals and fire, so it's like barbecue bread. It smells amazing, very yeasty. Let's give it a try. Look at that. You look like you're about to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's big and it's a little sticky. There's like chocolate and a in there, so it's a little sticky. And it got stuck to the top of my mouth. Save save the piece for save that piece for me. Okay. Bread is really springy. Crispy. It's super good. Perfect for this weather. And like they're like foils. Beautiful! First thing I need to try is local chuck food. Roasted pork knuckles apparently the thing to have. So uh, this is my snack because we're gonna have dinner. Um, ready? Yes. We finally found langus. I actually gave up on finding it. Here's a close up. It's basically a fried pizza dough topped with ketchup, cheese, and garlic. Dough is really good. Really good. But the top part, I'm not a fan of the ketchup. I wish it was tomato sauce. Um, more melted cheese. But the dough is really good. 
Come from Cornwall. 